Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you another way of rendering multiple cameras on your screen at once. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games, so if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content, loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to my channel on video game development. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I have previously done a short tutorial on how to render multiple cameras on your screen all at once. And that is done via projecting the camera onto UI. There is another way of doing it. And in some ways, this way is kind of simpler, uh, but it's always good to know the various ways of doing things. So in this scene, I actually have three cameras. First camera is this one down here, and you can see that's what it's currently looking at. The second camera is this one, and it's upstairs somewhere looking at a door. And this one is just looking at the outside of this building. This asset I'm using is a doctor's office, and you can find it on the asset store. Uh, it's a very nice asset if you do want to have a look at it. So how do we make it so as this game view has more than just this third camera rendering? Well, it's all done using these two options here for viewport. Now, what we can do is instead of changing the X and the Y from 0 and 0 and the width and height from 1 to 1, if we modify these, we can actually adjust how it looks. So, for example, if we take camera 3 down here and change the X to 0 0.5, we can see already that it's now rendering two cameras on our screen at once. And all that has basically done is it has shifted what the camera sees into that smaller view defined here. And obviously we can do the same on the Y if we wanted to. And it would basically shift it into the corner. So we can see now that this camera here is rendering the main part of everything. And this camera here is just rendering in that small corner up there. And you can do this with multiple cameras. So if we take camera two, for example, and have the height, let's say, as 0.5, you'll see there we've now split it once again. So we've split, because the height of this is only half now, it's now able to see this other section of the camera. So if we take camera 1, for example, and if we have the width as 0.5, you can see once again we have split how this looks. And I know in some terms it is very simple just to kind of move these um, numbers around, but it really can help in so many different ways. You can shift the camera position with these ones, as you can see. You can zoom in, zoom out there, but that is ba all based on the size, the height, the width, and just everything. So if we were to change this Y position, you can see basically we can put it right down there if you wanted to. And if you ever make a mistake, just select your cameras and reset these to 0, 0, 1, 1, and you end up back to normal. So, for example, if we were to do a split screen or something, so we've got, uh, let's say, a vertical split screen. Uh, let's turn camera 3 off, and let's take a look at camera 1. And if we put the X as 0.5, we can see, there we are, we've now split. So if we take camera 2, if we also put this as 0.5, it would end up pretty much in the same position. However, if we change the width, we can actually see where this would shift to. So we could theoretically shift it to there, set the numbers back to how they should be, and set this to minus 0.5. And there we go. So we've shifted both of those cameras, how they are viewed on the screen, just by modifying these numbers. So what I would say is if you are interested in rendering these multiple cameras all in one go, I would recommend, uh, recommend playing around with these settings much more than what I'm doing. I'm just basically giving you a simple instruction that this is where you can modify them, this is how simple it is, and these are the effects that you can come up with. And it really is great. So if we were to have this as 0.5, we would see that's down there. And theoretically, I guess 
if we shove that camera up there, we can have this as 0.5 and let's have the Y also as 0.5 and there we go. So we can now see that we now have three cameras rendering and I guess if you wanted four in total, you don't want a four player split screen, you would just do the same with this camera here. So that is how easy it is in this instance to render multiple cameras in one go. And if we do press play, we can see that nothing will change. It will render as it is. So if you want to know any more, leave a comment below. And if you want to see any more cool, unique ways of doing things in Unity, consider subscribing and you'll see a lot more. Hopefully I'll see you around in another tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, guys.